But um, <laughs> so hopefully, uh, his was a pretty visible one, so couldn't couldn't hide that. Uh, but again, my name is Fernando. Thank you guys for having me up here. Uh, my name is not Francisco, not Juan. I'm not Mexican, nor am I a gardener. Although every time I mow my lawn, people get asked me for business cards. <laughs> so I know I, I hate my neighbors there. There's some assholes. But uh, but I am from a place. Uh, down south called Brazil. For some of you guys that don't know, Brazil we speak Portuguese, so hopefully this can be a little bit educational as well as, you know, possibly funny. Um, and uh, in Brazil, I had a private tutor who taught my sister and I English. Uh, so when we came out here, we already knew a little bit. Uh, a little bit of background on my, my tutor was she, her parents were Australian and, and, and uh, British. So she spent six months a year with, with her dad, six months a year with, with her mom. So her uh, accent was unique, to say the least. Um, so when I came out here, I was uh, a very friendly kid, just approached other kids, and, and then so uh, I just walked up to kids and be like, hello, mate, my name is Fernando. What is your name? <laughs> Needless to say, kids beat the shit out of me for many, many weeks, until one day, my counselor came up with an idea. He said, you know what? He's like, I, I, I figured it out. So he called my mom in, and uh, his idea was, let's just put you with all the special ed kids which some of you guys might think, okay, there's no way that that's possible, but uh, it is possible when your mother's entire English vocabulary consists of two words, yes and okay. <laughs> so uh, that went really well. Um, and that's, that's also actually the reason why my mom had about 50 different credit cards with different um, retail stores, because every time they would walk up to her and say, man, would you like a credit card? Yes, <laughs> okay, yes. Um, so. Uh, we also have a lot of debt, in case you guys can't tell. Um, <laughs> Welcome to America. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, the, uh, eventually, obviously, I got to high school, and uh, the kids in my high school were very different. Um, they played a lot of weird pranks with other kids. So one of them was actually, whenever we would have a party, uh, there was always that one kid that got really fucked up, super wasted, and would fall asleep, right? So what they would do is, they would walk up to that kid, the one person, never knew who it was, walk up to that kid, pull his dick out, and put it on like right next to his, like right next to his face, take pictures of it, and then send it to everyone at school, which I thought was really fucked up. So one time, one of my buddies and I, we go to a party, and he ends up getting super wasted, passes out, and then I'm like, dude, like, how can you do that? Like, he actually allowed me to put my dick on his face and take a picture of it. I'm like, dude, like, how do you do that? Why would you let me do that to you? Like, I just, I was just very disappointed in, uh, in my friend. Um, <laughs> um, I think that kids nowadays, they'll never understand what it was like to watch porn back in, in my days. And some of you guys, obviously, similar age to, to me. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't videos. You didn't, have, you didn't sit there and just go through a bunch of different videos and be like, okay, I'm gonna pick the best one, and then I'm gonna start off. Uh, it was just a picture, a single picture. That's all you, did. That's all you had, it literally, it was dial-up internet, so you would sit there next to your computer, and it would just literally dial in, and you would just sit there and just wait, and then as soon as you found one picture, you'd just be like, okay, I think this is the one, and you'd just sit there and just wait for the picture to load, and wait for it to load, <laughs> and wait for it to load, and if it was disappointing, well, that's too bad, that's all you had, so. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but I do have to say that porn has ruined my life. I feel like over the years, porn has gotten very, very different. I mean, it started off with just men and women, and then men and men, a little, a little bit about that. Um, and then uh, it just, you know, and then transvestites, and, and horses, and all kinds of shit. And like, last week I found myself jerking off to a horse, a fucking a she-male, while a midget was getting a blowjob from an anime character. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> how do I go from this to having traditional sex with a woman? You just, you just can't, there's just, and, I'm not gonna lie, it was the best come of my life. I just, I'll never, I'll never be able to have that same, you know, feeling again. So that's, uh, my life is ruined when it comes to sex. Um, this is gonna be my last bit here. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think nowadays it's, uh, it's, it's really tough to, to trust women, right? Because um, I think with like dating websites and there's just, you know, women are just overall shady. Sorry to tell you that. Women are shady. Uh, and so, and it sucks because like, like even with if I have a girlfriend, every six months I have to go and get tested because you just never know 
which like which one of the women I sleep with is gonna give me an STD and I gotta give it to my girlfriend too. So it's just like cool. you just gotta be careful with the women you date out there, man. So just uh, just be careful. But uh, that's uh, that's all I got. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do you want me to record the feedback too? Uh, yeah, yeah, might as well. Yeah, please. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Got a little.